Hey, what's up? My name is Milenko from Lacerda. I got Mikey here with me doing his first interview, so I'm kind of going to be leading him through the whole thing. But, um, you know, sit back, relax, live music TO, baby. Uh, there's Brad who plays drums, Jamie who plays guitar and sings, um, Brian Baker who plays lead guitar, and uh, Matt Livingston, the newest member of the band, plays bass. You guys have been, I guess, evolving, like genre-wise. What bands give you like the inspiration to give you this unique sound that you have? Well, um, everyone in the band brings their own sort of flavor uh, to the table. Um, there's definitely some crossover bands like. Uh, Brand New is a band that everyone in the band absolutely loves, and then there's uh, Circus Survive. Um, and then, you know, we, we like some of the popular stuff as well, like uh, Taking Back Sunday and, uh, you know, Fall Out Boy, everyone, and Blink-182. Um, but yeah, like, and then we have the other end of the spectrum with um, some of the weirder stuff like uh, Bjork and, yeah. and Deftones with me. And So yeah, well, it's just a large variety. Uh, the new album is going to be a mishmash of a bunch of different sounds that we kind of, well, we had kind of cornered ourselves into uh, an idea of a genre before, and we thought we had to be a certain thing, and we had to s stay consistent with that thing, but um, with this new album, we're, we're getting out stuff that we really wanted to get out that we weren't able to before. I'll try to let you in, but you won't like what you see. Um, right now, the music industry is kind of at an all-time low for record sales, and you see like stores just going under and throwing in the towel, right? Because it's just so hard with the internet and iTunes and all these file sharing sites distributing music. Has this affected you guys at all? Well, I mean, uh, you, you hear a lot of people talk about the new model of music, which is the, you know, disposable music or 99 cent model uh, where it's like a dollar for a track or whatever. But I mean, for, for us, I would say yes and no. Uh, I mean, of course, it makes it more difficult to, uh, you know, be lucrative in a, in a band where you're, you're Basically, you're giving your music away for free a lot of the time, but at the same time, a lot more people do get to hear about you that ne wouldn't necessarily. So it's a give and take thing. Well, I'm going to be completely honest. I download all of my music, so I, I can't be hypocritical. I, I think that people, um, if they want to download our stuff for free, they're more than welcome to do so. But we don't make a lot of money doing this, and if they want to support us, that's great, uh, and I really appreciate it. And then there are bands whose CDs I absolutely love, and I'll buy on iTunes. So, I mean, I, where where do I stand on it? I think that it's bullshit that that guy's going to prison for like 50 years or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, what can you do? Exactly. You guys have a couple product endorsements like Black Market and uh, I think Archaic was one of them. Uh, what's your most, like, what are you most proud of right now? Uh, well, I would definitely say the two you mentioned are, uh, are um, up there on the list. Uh, Black Market Custom, are, they're, they're um, buddies of ours in a band called the Venetia Fair, uh, who are absolutely amazing and you should check them out. Um, they do amazing, amazing stuff. They have, um, make drums and cabs, and uh, Brad is currently play, playing um, a Black Market kit. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Jordan, who's, uh, who runs Archaic. Um, he's a young guy who's done absolutely amazing things for himself. Um, AZ, baby. And uh, yeah, he, he's hooked us up with several uh, clothing items uh, that we're very grateful for. You guys should check them out. Archaic. Following the Warp Tour for a couple of years now, what kind of gave you the idea to start doing it? Well, we'd heard of a lot of bands who had kind of made their way in the industry by following Warp Tour, so we thought it was a good opportunity. 
Um, what we didn't realize though was that a lot of bands were kind of realizing the same thing at the same time. So we were on it for the whole tour, 2010, um, just hustling on the road every day, selling CDs, um, and it, there were a lot of there was a lot of competition. So it was really difficult to do so, but it really got our name out there, and it was it was a great opportunity for us. I definitely wouldn't recommend it to any bands now, especially because it's getting more and more common, um, and it's getting more and more difficult because of the competition. But uh, you know, it opened some doors for us. Uh, last year, 2011, we played uh, we played 10 dates of the East Coast Indie Stage or the Dezambo Stage. And um, this year, we're kind of moving up in the ranks, and uh, we're not playing as many dates, but we're playing a better stage, um, and we're playing the Canadian dates. I think the memory that sticks out—it's kind of a long story—but uh, we had this situation in uh, New Jersey and New York, um, that sort of area where our van broke down a million times, and we went through. Um, hell trying to repair it. It was sweltering hot. We ran into some KKK members who ended up being nice towards us, I guess, because we were, were white. Um, <laughs> and they helped us fix our van, but they were really scary and creepy. It was like straight out of deliverance. And um, and uh, we, we saw some ghosts on the way back home. It was oh, scary. Being on the road, it gets really boring. Uh, I think a lot of the guys in the band really like <laughs> that, that helps pass some time, but um, really I think my favorite thing is just the random encounters, meeting random people, um, talking to random people, having the weird experiences that you wouldn't under any circumstances. Yeah. That's, that's the best part about being on the road. So, with this new fucking album, <laughs> or what we're doing with this new album, no, with this new album, no, no, no. Hey, what's up? My name is Malenko, I sing the band Lacerda, and I uh, got Mikey here doing his first interview, so I'm kind of going to be like leading him through the whole thing, but um, you know, I got him sitting in some luxury right now, he's sitting on a seat covered in glass with the, my jacket sitting over it, uh, I mean, you know. Just trying to fuck it. No, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> you realize how fucking dangerous this is. Like I was just driving and not paying attention at all. I don't know where we are. <laughs> I have no idea.